I made these tiny little blocks. And what can you do with them? Let's find out. First of all, before we jump into what you can make with them, I short want to explain what these blocks actually are, why I made them and how they work exactly. These are 20 mm by 20 mm by 20 mm square cubes with a custom snap fit connector, which you can snap into the block and connect another block to this block. I think you kind of get the idea, it's pretty simple. I want to connect different blocks with each other. My general design idea was that I want to have blocks that are connectable and the disconnection is kind of permanent. I didn't have in mind to reassemble these blocks in any way. In total I had to make 10 iterations of these blocks and of these snap fits. As you can see this is, was my kind of R&D process. I used these smaller blocks, it's basically only a cutout of the snap fit um, connector and the snap fit to test my snap fits and as you can see some of them worked, some of them didn't work, um, they broke or they were too loose. I want a really really snug fit of these blocks together and this connection is quite strong. In the end I tested two different final solutions whereas I had two connectors on each side of the block which led to a very, very strong bond. It was obviously also too strong to connect those together and only one connector was sufficient for me. You can hear the click. It's yeah it sounds and feels really good and the fit is really not loose. It's quite tight and also the arrangement of the blocks with the tolerances is really nice. In hindsight um, I wouldn't have to spend all these efforts to make my own blocks. Um, I just yesterday saw a video of the 3D printing professor. Um, he has far superior blocks, um, a far superior connector design, which can be printable, uh, which can be printed in any direction. My um, snap fit connectors and also these blocks have a printing direction. You have to print them, yeah, upside. This is because of the design, because I want a snap fit which has several surfaces where the snap fit connects to the block itself. So you have really, really low tolerances on the snap fit. So these, that these blocks are really firm and you cannot really move them uh, against each other. But as said, his design is honestly way better. Um, he has a different purpose. He wants um, reconnectable connections and I don't want that um, but it could have saved me one day of R&D design honestly um, but now that's my design and I will work with it so let's put these blocks aside and get to make something cool out of these blocks let's start the montage <laughs> And here you can see the final piece. <laughs> it took me around 30 minutes to build and it was quite challenging to assemble this in the right order. I think I had to undo like three or four connections, but overall uh, I really like it. Um, it has a little bit of flex in the handle as there are only two connections really connecting these blocks together. Um, stiffer would be better on the handle honestly. 
but here on the top where you have three connections it's kind of rigid um, all in all I really liked it it was kind of a fun build and really seeing the progress grow while you build it is really cool and you actually have to think while you build unless uh, you want to make a lot of errors while building it well that's it for today do you like this design do you found this concept interesting and do you want to see more of it because there's plenty of uh, room of improvement and also of designs available what could be done with uh, this concept actually let me know in the comments below and if you like the video press thumbs up and also leave a comment about what i should build next and also subscribe to my channel to be notified about future videos that's it for today thank you for watching have a nice day and goodbye